which of the following shows the expression in the simplest form? Right here, what you're doing, you're trying to combine like terms. <clears throat> so I'm going to put the x squareds together, and I'm going to circle those. I have negative 2 plus 4, which gives me 2x squared. Well, that says 6x squared. The rest of them say 2x squared. So now I'm going to go and look at the x's. 6 minus 8 is negative 2x. Well, there's only one that has that right there. You can double check by looking at negative 8 plus 5, and that's negative 3. To check your answers and make sure that you did it correctly, you could have taken this and put it into y1, put your answer choice into y2. You press second graph, and what you're looking for is for the entire column for y1 to equal y2. Y1 to equal Y2, all the numbers. Next one. This one, the only thing that's tricky about it is that, see there's parentheses? There's a minus in between it. Remember that this is like a negative 1. So the first part I can rewrite. 2X squared minus 3X minus 1. Now, I have to do the distributive property. I have to take negative 1 times um, x squared. You multiply it by each one of these. So it becomes negative x squared minus 5x plus 4. Now you combine like terms. Now I'll put my x squared together. I've got 2x squared minus 1x squared, which gives me 1x squared. That says 3x squared. C says 3x squared. Now let's look at our x's. Negative 3 and negative 5 is negative 8x. Oh, darn. They both say that. So now I go and look at negative 1 plus 4. That gives you positive 3. Your answer should be D. Again, to check it in the calculator, put the original problem, not what you redid down here, put the original problem into y1 and your answer choice into Y2 and press second graph and check and make sure you did it correct. The next one. Right here what I would do is first you have to do the distributive property. Okay, so I get 4x squared and 4 times negative 6, negative 24x, don't forget that x, right here, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. To find my answer, here's my x squared. 4x squared and 6x squared. Oh, it doesn't even, oh, let's see, that they have this one here. 10x squared, and you have negative 24 and negative 2x, negative 26x. That answer is here. Now I'm trying to look here and see what maybe they've done. It looks like they've tried to take the 4 and the 2x and add them together to get 6x, but you can't do that. You have to do the distributive property first and then add them all together. Right here, which of the following shows the correct product for the factors? I want to stress something. The product means that we're multiplying. Again, even if you have no clue on how what process to do, you can go through and put the problems into Y1, the answers into Y2, and press second graph and see if they um, check. Now, to multiply to find the products, I know we've been using the box, but let me explain the deal. Right, or how do you know which box or what type of box to, to draw? See how this has two terms right here? It has a 3x and a 1. This is two terms by two terms. So that's why on my box, I'm going to have two boxes for 3x minus 1, and then two boxes up here, x plus 6. See, like if there was three terms up here, I would add another one here. All this box is is a graphic organizer. So I take 3x times x, which gets me 3x squared. 3x times 6. 3 times 6 is 18. Don't forget the x. 
negative 1 times x, negative 1x. Now, this is where mistakes happen. They take 5 plus, or I mean, 6 plus um, negative 1. That's not what you do. You multiply them. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. Now, add these together. I'm going to have 3x squared plus 17x minus 6. My, here is going to be my answer choice right there. But again, y1, y2, second graph to check and make sure you did it right. I would do that after every problem to make sure that I did it right. Next one, which one is equivalent? Now, this one messed some people up because of this squared up here. Some people tried to tell me it was like 9x squared minus 4. This right here, what it means is 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2. Now, that's two terms by two terms. So I'm going to make two boxes each way. And I get 3x minus 2 and 3x minus 2. Right here in this box, I get 9x squared, 3 times negative 2, negative 6x, negative 2 times 3 again, negative 6x, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. These two boxes always have the x's. Remember, this looks like a plus sign right here. It's reminding you to add them together. You should have had 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. Here's my answer choice. Next. Okay, this one has a bunch. Uh, there's, there's about three or there's two different steps you have to do. Okay. There's a couple ways to do this. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it this way just for this time. Let's see. First thing, let's put these, let's multiply these two together. And the way you do that, this is one term times two terms. So I'm going to go here. I've got one row. This is 2n times n minus 5. You could have done the parentheses first, then the 2n. But either, I'm going to start here with this, what I highlighted. Now, 2n times n, 2n squared. 2n times negative 5 is negative 10n. So now what you're taking is 2n squared minus 10n, and you're multiplying it by this right here, 3n minus 5. Okay? So now we're going to do this, and I've got two terms by two terms. So I'm going to draw my box. And I'm going to put 2n squared minus 10n, 3n minus 5. This box right here, 3 times 2 is 6. What's n squared times n? Remember, this has a 1 right there. So it should be n to the third power. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10n squared. Negative 10 times 3, negative 30. N times N is N squared. Negative 10 times negative 5 is positive 50 N. Now you put these together. So I'm going to have 6 N to the third power minus 40 N squared plus 50 N. Wait a minute. Do we even have any of this? Guess what? I could have, I didn't even have to do that last step. Does, does this right here, whoops, where'd it go? Does this match any of the answer choices? Sure does. There's an answer choice right there. So all they did at first, see, it didn't say simplify. It says which is equivalent, which is equal to. So all they did was multiply that first box right there, and here's what they got. Now, if I simplified it, what I wrote in the, in the red would be my answer. Now, as we go through here, what you're going to see is, looking at this, that's one way. See, B right here says all the above. See, another way that you can find your answer now we can go, instead of 
just multiplying those first two, we can go through and what if we multiplied these two? And I took and I made the box and I got n minus 5 and 3n minus 5. This gives me 3n squared minus 5n minus 15n plus 25. So now when I put these together, I still have the 2n out front, but now I have 3n squared minus 20n plus 25. Wait a minute, that matches this right here. So that's equivalent as well. The other way that you can go and do this, and that's what's tricky, you had to be careful and see that it says all of the above. So now if I go through and I find this right here, whoops, that's what I just did. My bad, let me see. Let's try the other one. So now I go through and if I multiply 2n times 3n minus 5 and go through and do the box, I get 2n and 3n minus 5. That gives me 6n squared minus 10n. Well, I still have n minus 5 times 6n squared minus 10n. That's exactly what's right here. All three of them work. So the answer choice that they were looking for is right here, all of the above. Every single one of these was equivalent. Be careful when it says has the all of the above. You could have gone through and put this original problem into Y1 and put each one of these into Y2 and check them individually to make sure. But the answer, every one of these is equivalent. You could have done it any way. Next, Bob was told to simplify. He gave the incorrect answer. Which of the following should Bob have done to get the correct answer? Show your work for full credit. It says Bob should have distributed 4 to just the first term. That is not right. In this problem right here, the first thing you do is the exponents. See, this is the same as saying 4 times 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. Okay? It says Bob should have squared the binomial. So right here, we're going to need to go and do this right here. And so we're going to have to square the binomial. 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1. Then once you find your answer, then you do the times 4. So B would be my answer right here. You have to make sure you do the exponents first in order of operations. Next one right here. Now wait. Hint, hint. Ding, 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 ding. What is this called? No, it has a special name. They look exactly the same, but what's the difference? They, one has a positive, one has a negative. It is the difference of squares. I, ding, 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 highly suggest you know that. So now to find your answer. I'm going to do a box, which is a 2 by 2. Why 2 by 2? Because they're, we're doing the distributive property, but you're, it's a kind of a double distributive. So I've got 2x minus 4 times 2x plus 4. So I get 4x squared plus 8x minus 8x minus 16. When you put these together right here, you're adding them together. Well, what is 8 minus 8? 0. You get 4x squared minus 16. When you have the difference of squares, that x term is going to eliminate. Here's the next one. Is this one a difference of squares? No, because they're not even the same. This, again, is a binomial times a binomial. Bi for 2. 2 terms times 2 terms. 6x minus 8, 3x minus 4. 
you should have gotten 18x squared minus 24x. This right here is minus 24x plus 32. Put these two together right here. Add them together. Your answer should have been 18x squared minus 48x plus 32. Again, you should be checking these in the calculator into y1 and y2. Next one, a binomial times a binomial. Two terms by two terms. x plus 5, x plus 7. x times x is x squared. 7 times x is 7x, 5x, and 35. Add these two together. you get x squared plus 12x plus 35. Here's the next one. Now what does this mean? It means 6x minus 2 times 6x minus 2. So now it is a binomial times a binomial. So I get 6x minus 2 times 6x minus 2. 36x squared minus 12x minus 12x plus 4. These should go together right here. Addition, we're adding them together. We get 36x squared minus 24x plus 4. Next one, which of the following expresses the perimeter in terms of x for the figure at the right? Remember, this right here, you need to label all the sides. I have 3x plus 4. Now, what is this supposed to be? 2x plus what? Hello? Plus 7? Okay, so I've got 3 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10x. Oh, this was the only one with 10x. Does the other ones match? 7 and 7 is 14. And 4 and 4 is 8. That's 22. Plus 22. Remember, perimeter means to add up all the sides. Next one. In the figure at the right, which of the following expressions represents a process for finding the area of the shaded region? First off, area is length times width. To find the area of the shaded region, you're going to take the area of the big minus the area of the small. So, you take 8 times 2x plus 5. Take 8x times 2x plus 5. That gives me 16x squared plus 40x. Okay, so I've got 16x squared. Oh, I guess it doesn't even do all that, does it? I don't have to do all the steps. Basically, it says 8x times 2x plus 5 minus 6x times 2x. So there's my answer. All it wanted to know was the process. Using number 13 above, find the area of the shaded region and show your work in the space provided. Okay, so let's go back here. So now I need to show my work. Now that's what I was doing. Here we go. Mult distributive property. 16x squared plus 40x. Then multiply 6x times 2x minus 12x squared. That is not a 12. I wrote a 16. Try again. 12x squared. So the 16x squared and the negative right here. I have 4x squared plus 40x. That should be your answer. Right here for number 14. Whoop, where'd it go?
Number 14, that's your answer. Okay, the next one. John is planting a garden that, garden that is in the shape of a triangle. The height is 3x minus 7, and the base is 2x minus 4. John needs to find the area. Okay, remember, area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So I need to take 3x minus 7 times 2x minus 4. So a binomial times a binomial, 3x minus 7, 2x minus 4, 6x squared minus 12x minus 14x plus 28. Combine these two right here. I get 6x squared minus 26x plus 28, but that is not the answer. You have to divide all of it by 2. Your answer becomes 3x squared minus 13x plus 14. Now it says if x equals 6, what is the area of the garden? So if I took 3x squared minus 13x plus 4, you're going to take 6 and put it in each place in here for x. Okay, so I've got 3 times 6 squared minus 13 times 6 plus 4. When you plug those in, you could put that all on your home screen if you wanted to, but I've got 3 times 6 squared is 36 minus, what is 13 times 6? 8, 1, 78 plus 4, 36 times 3, 8 and 1, 9, 108, 108 minus 78 plus 4. That is 30 plus 4. Your answer should have been 34. No, it's supposed to be plus. I'm sorry, I wrote down. You're right, I wrote down the wrong number, didn't I? It should be plus 14. There we go. Sorry, I wrote down the wrong number, so that should be plus 14. So it should be 44. Try again. There we go. That's my area. The next one, Mary multiplied the factors and got a product. Answer the following questions. First off, is she correct? What you could go do is put this into Y1, this into Y2, and press second graph. And you would check and see if it was correct. So let's see if I pull that up real quick. Well, let's see here. Maybe the calculator will come up. It's just slow. Okay, it doesn't want to show up real fast here. Okay. So when you go through, you should look and see. You're looking to see if all y1 equals y2. Oh, now my pen's tripping out. Hold on. And if it is, then that means that they're correct. Is this really, is this calculator really frozen here? It sure is. Okay, so what I'll do here, I'll go ahead and write this out. 3x minus 4x plus 5. See if I get the right same answer. 3x squared, 15x 
minus 4x minus 20. Sure enough, it's going to be wrong because the right answer is 3x squared plus 11x minus 20. So he, oh, there, now it's going to work, maybe. Now it's just playing with my emotions. There we go. All right, so what we're trying to do now, this is what I was trying to do and it wasn't going to come up here real quick. All right, I was going to put in the calculator 3x minus 4 times x plus 5. And you put in there the answer choice that they have there, 3x squared plus 19x minus 20 and press second graph. These columns, the negative 20s are the same, but the rest of them are not. So that means that the answer is not correct. And how can you correct it? Because all the numbers in Y1 do not equal Y2. They're not the same. That's how you know it's wrong. I read it. What was the question? Okay, and how and it's saying like um, how you verify, you're right. I was instead of writing it all out, you should have wrote that you put the original problem into Y1, the answer choice into Y2, press second graph. And check to see if all the numbers in y, Y1 equal Y2. Okay? The next one. So on the next one right here, to be able to do these, these are to get the higher levels, what you guys have to do is, first, I'm going to multiply these two together that I just highlighted. So it's a binomial times a binomial. So I have X minus 6 times 2X minus 9. So I'll go through here and I get 2x squared minus 9x minus 12x plus 54. Whoa, I didn't write 54. I'll try again. No, now you're moving all by yourself. All right. Plus 54. I'm going to put these two boxes together. I'm adding them together. So now I have 2x squared minus 21x plus 54. But I'm not done. I have to multiply it by 7x minus 3. Now this is where some of y'all need to look and see. How do I draw the box with this? Well first off there are three terms right here. So I can do it a couple ways. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to put 2x squared minus 21x plus 54. And right here I'm going to write 7x minus 3. Now let's go through and multiply these two. I get 14, now what is it? It's x to the third. Multiply negative 21 times 7. Negative 147x squared. Uh-oh. What is 54 times 7? 8, 2, 378x. Now this one right here, negative 3 times 2x squared is negative 6x squared. Negative 3 times negative 21 is positive 63x. And then 54 times negative 3, negative 162. Now look at what goes together. Here are my x squareds. Okay, so let me go down here and write my answer. I've got 14x to the third power. Put these together, I get negative 153x squared. Then, put these x's together. Oh, golly gee willikers. Um, 1, 4, no, it shouldn't be 141. It's 378 plus 63. 
Yep. So it should be 441 x minus 162. That is the whole answer. And you should be able to put that, the original, into Y1, the answer into Y2. Next one. This is a trinomial times a trinomial. So we have a 3 times a 3. So here's 3. And here's 3. I have, what is that, 2x squared minus 4x plus 7, 5x squared minus x minus 7. Right here, 10x to the 4th, add those exponents, minus 2x to the 3rd, negative 14x squared. Next one, look to the left and above. Negative 20x to the third. Positive 4x squared. Positive 28x. 35x squared. Minus 7x. Plus 49. Woo! Okay. First off, are there any other x to the fourth? Nope. So I have 10x to the fourth. Uh, the bottom one is minus 49. That is correct. Let me go back there. Because I have a positive times a negative. My bad. Negative 49. All right. So now put your x to the thirds together. Here, these go together right there. So I get negative 22x to the third. Then, look, you've got three x squareds right here. So what is that? That's 35 plus 4 is 39 minus 14 is 25. Positive 25 x squared. Then I have my x's plus 19x minus 49. Whew, that's a long one. Okay.